Hi all, my name is Haley Comet and welcome to my cosmic corner of the internet where we discuss all things astrology and today Gemini Ascendant unlocking what it means when you have the sign of the twins as your rising sign, how this impacts how you view the world, how the world views you, and how this really unlocks one of the most essential components of astrology. The reason I was so motivated to start this series is because I feel that Ascendant is misrepresented oftentimes in popular discourse. I feel like people undervalue how important it is. Like truly Ascendant is one of the most deeply personal components to your chart. And so often I see it referred to as, it's your mask. It's how people think you are, but you're not really. And it's like, no love, it is you, it is yourself, it's your identity, it's your appearance, it's your energy that's felt by people around you. So if there's any placement that I would encourage you to dive into, it is your rising sign, and that's why you are here. So let's dive into all things Gemini rising. And if you wouldn't mind, just keep in the back of your head, if anything in this video resonates, is of value to you, allows you to unlock and understand yourself a little bit more, if you can consider clicking any of the buttons down there, honestly, even dislike, speak your truth, Gemini Risings, it's all good, but any sort of engagement that you can give is just super helpful for me as a cosmic creator. Don't actually dislike, please. Unless you like genuinely dislike, then you can go ahead and, and let that truth be known. So without further ado, let's dive in and explore Gemini Ascendant. So let's start with how you see the world because that's truly what Ascendant is. It functions very much like a two-way mirror. It is how you see the world and how the world sees you. So let's start with how it is that you see the world. So Gemini Rising see the world through this lens of learning. You guys are the eternal student archetype okay like gemini risings are open to learn and they're sort of playful and light with life obviously things can get heavy every so often but gemini rising is able to find a sense of humor and at least use the experiences that happen to them as data like not everything in life is funny but gemini risings typically can find a way to find some comedy or find some lightness in it as well as being able to learn from the experience like oops i put a a knife in the toaster and I got electrocuted. Definitely not going to do that next time. Please don't do that. <laughs> but let that be, let that be symbolic for any sort of life experience that you go on. Like, okay, this experience happened when I interacted with this person and they didn't like it when I shared this. Let me note that as data. They are constantly learning. They look at every situation and every person as an opportunity to learn. And it creates this really lovely person. I genuinely do really love Gemini Risings in that they tend to just to be open. They're not too rigidly attached to this is how life should be. They're open. They'll playfully engage with your truth. And this is the archetype of the twins, the sign Gemini is. And a lot of people think that, oh yeah, Gemini's, they're crazy. They're two, they're two faced because they're twins. Not necessarily. How I consider this energy is that they are able to consider two things at once. It doesn't make them flip flops or anything of that nature. They're just able to engage and play with your truth while simultaneously holding on to theirs and maybe taking on elements of your truth or what you can teach them without losing theirs. And like so often with a lot of us and a lot of our charts, we're so rigidly attached to this is how life is and this is who I am. Whereas Gemini Rising can engage and like sort of play with their truth. It doesn't make them liars. It makes them adept at being able to balance multiple viewpoints, take the pieces that work for them and leave the rest. And this is what makes them so, so open because they don't perceive other people's way of living or opinions or, or data as a threat to their own. They're able to simultaneously take in the information from this person while still holding on to their own and maybe being a little mutable when it comes to taking on certain elements if they do resonate. So with Gemini Risings, they tend to be very intelligent because like I said, you're going into every situation through the lens of wanting to learn, whether it's wanting to learn how to be the best version of yourself or just, I think of Gemini Rising, I just think of this eternal student just here at life school wanting to pass the test, right? And, and realizing that every person that you engage with has some wisdom or some information that they can share with you, which is why Gemini Risings are just so open to individuals. Like they are the sort of people who realize that 
regardless of who it is that we are, whether we are, you know, super respected in society or not necessarily as respected in society, that every single person that we interact with has something to teach us. And this is why Gemini Risings are so gifted with communication. They are truly able to level with people and kind of meet them at the level that they are. And I don't mean that again in a duplicitous way. I think this also sort of highlights the twin nature of Gemini, being able to be the person that they are, again, not, not wishy-washy or anything on nature, being the person that they are and being able to meet people as they are and being able to sort of meet them on that level. So like being able to communicate with a wide variety of people and being able to level with them, like not being like, oh, we're too different to get along. Gemini Rising will zone in on the elements of relatability, of similarity, of being able to reflect that person. Remember, this is the twins. So they can handle this, they have this duality to them where they're able to level with you, to mirror to you certain aspects of yourself, or to be able to connect with you on the commonalities of being human or wherever it is that you two can relate, right? And with Gemini Rising, I mean, I'm constantly in awe of these people because they are so, you guys have the gift of the gab and I'm, I'm so jealous. You guys are extraordinarily well-spoken. You all tend to express yourself very well and you tend to be good at conversation. And it's not to say that every Gemini Rising will be a social butterfly, most are. Most are, but not every single one of them, but they are pretty gifted at when they get someone in a one-to-one -one conversation, they make that person feel heard because people love having questions asked about themselves. People love talking about themselves and Gemini Rising has this curiosity. They want to listen and they're the most fascinating conversationalists because the wealth of knowledge that these people have amassed, okay, because that's what happens when you're open. Okay, when you are open and you don't have this egoic around, I need to be a know-it-all, I need to know all of the things. When you're open to be like, oh, what about you? What do you think on this? You can take in so much information. Like your Gemini rising friend will be the one who's like, oh, did you know this about volcanoes? And you're like, girl, what? No, I didn't. And it's like the reason they've amassed all this knowledge is because A, they're always curious, always learning, but B is because they genuinely listen to people and people are fascinating. Even if you don't perceive them as like, you know, they're not an academic, they're not a priest, they're not a pastor, and they're not one of the people that we like, you know, celebrate in society. Every single person has something to teach us if you're willing to listen. And Gemini Rising is willing to listen. And this is what makes them extraordinary conversationalists because they just have something about them where they get people to start talking about themselves. They make people feel comfortable. They're able to level with people from broad levels all over the spectrum. And they're able to really, not in a selfish way at all, but use that person's viewpoint to enrich in themselves. It's almost like Gemini rising is here, like little butterflies. I always think of butterflies. It's not their official archetype. Their official archetype is the twins, but I always think of butterflies, kind of like fluttering from flower to flower, just like, you know, spreading the pollen. And that's how they are with people. Like they don't necessarily always go so, 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 so deep, but they realize that every single flower has a story to tell and they can take that pollen with them to their next adventure. Like you never know what all of this random information, what all this random data and these random stories will help you to realize within your life. Like Gemini Risings can take in all of this information that, that deeply does help them on their journey. It's like, yeah, I know about volcanoes because of this experience and now we're going on this volcano trip. I don't know why you would go on a volcano trip. So I want you to stay open, Gemini Rising, and realize that while all this random information, like seriously, if you ever need a random fact, just ask your Gemini Rising friend. They'll have, they'll have quite a few. And it might feel random to you, but I want you to consider that you are the divine messenger, Gemini. So it's not only just about you listening and learning, it's all about also about you sharing with the next person that you encounter. It's like the next person you encounter is like, yeah, I have this volcano trip. And you're like, oh, did you know this about volcanoes? And they're like, oh, I didn't know that. And you never know what seed you're planting in that person. So it's about taking your role, not seriously, because you guys are Gemini's, you guys tend to be a little playful and fun, but taking your role and really using it to enrich in both your mind, which tends to be very, very smart and intelligent, as well as sharing with other people as you communicate. 
you are a divine communicator and you tend to be very good at it. A lot of Gemini risings tend to be gifted writers, speakers, because they're so witty. Your guys' minds astound me. They're the quickest people. Like mentally, they are just so agile. They are quick. They are witty. A lot of Gemini risings have the gift of the gab, of course, as I highlighted earlier. So they could be gifted at sales. They could be gifted at rapping. Anything that requires you to come up with words off the top of your head, like Gemini risings are quick quick. They have a mastery of language and it's not that they, you know, use it in a very egoic way. They really use it in order to connect and in order to share. And with you being ruled by Mercury, I want you to look at where Mercury is in your chart by sign and by house. That's your ruling planet. So you're a little more sensitive to it. And because you're ruled by Mercury, you know, you are mentally agile, very intelligent, gift to the gab. I do want to highlight that there is, there's a lot of thoughts in that brain, Gemini, the most, the most Instagram DMs I've ever gotten in my entire life <laughs> was when I posted something about there was a Gemini transit and I was like, hey, j just wondering, um, asking the class here, do Geminis feel like this all of the time? Because my mind has not slowed down for one second since my ruling planet entered Gemini. And when I tell you within an hour, I want to say it was a lot of people but like the Gemini's came out of the woodwork to be like, yes, yes, <laughs> that is how we feel all of the time. Gemini's are constantly thinking because again, let's bring in that energy of the twins duality. They're almost able to think of two things at once. They're almost able to do two things at once. They could be gifted multitaskers, but it's almost like they have so many thoughts and it's almost like different tabs in their brain or doing different things that it can be a lot. It could be hard for them to unwind, to settle down because their mind is always going, going, going. That also brings me to another downside, but not really of Gemini rising in that you can be a little distracted. And again, it's like with Gemini rising, they're here to learn about a lot and to find what really is worth diving deep into. Like they don't waste their time just on one flower, right? Like back to the butterfly analogy. I know, I know I'm doing like a lot of analogies here, but with the butterfly and the flower, they don't just be like, okay, well this flower is fine. I'm just gonna stay here. No, they explore, they try flower to flower and they learn about themselves more in that pursuit. So I want you to reframe this energy where it's like, oh, I'm so distracted, I have no attention span and just recognize that you are here to take in a lot of stimuli in order to find out what things are truly for you. It's not to say that you won't find subjects and interests that you generally like and generally wanna dive deep into as you sort of play with all of these different subject matters but you are meant to sort of take in a lot of stimuli before you find the things that you're like, okay, this is what I really want to put my mercurial instincts into sinking down into, right? Like Gemini rising isn't here to settle. I mean, none of us are here to settle, but with Gemini rising in particular, they're here to be able to move on to a different flower if it's not serving them. If this subject matter is boring, like you have permission to be able to learn about something else. And by the same token, so give yourself permission to move on. If something mentally just isn't getting you here, you know, that's how Gemini's move through life. You're mercurial. You move through life mentally. And so if something is no longer mentally intriguing you, give yourself permission to try something different. Like such is the nature of Gemini rising. And I just talked to someone Gemini rising so frustrated. It's like, oh, last year I was into banjo and now I'm doing dance and now I'm over this and I want to try this. And it's like, love, that's okay. That's why you guys are this playful, lighthearted rising sign. You're meant to engage with a little bit of this, a little bit of that. You're meant to learn about a lot of things and not necessarily go so deep with everything. Who has the time for that? Because there's so much to learn. There's so much to try. So rather than beating yourself up about it, allowing yourself to realize that it is a strength, as frustrating as it can be when it comes to attention span. And the cool thing is, is that you guys tend to be so intelligent that you tend to like pick up things pretty quickly. So you can really outpace other people because you're so quick, you're so mentally agile. So let's take it to how people view you. So one thing is Gemini Rising's are ruled by the hands. 
So a lot of Gemini risings tend to talk with their hands. They tend to be very, very expressive. There is something about them that is very, very youthful looking. There's something curious and playful about them. Like I said, eternal student. Like so many of us, as we get older, we almost like harden into this is the adult version of myself. And Gemini rising is still open to learn. They're still open to adventure. They're still open to try new things and be open to life, which is why they come across younger because you have Mercury as your ruler, as I mentioned. And so with Mercury as your ruler, Mercury is a trickster. So sometimes Gemini risings can come off as like 10 years younger younger or even when they're young they can come out as older because they're so well spoken like there's this playfulness into how they express themselves they tend to talk with their hands a lot a lot of gemini risings want to communicate a message with their appearance because rising sign is how it is that you look and so gemini risings can be really inclined to either like shirts with messaging on it or they can get a lot of tattoos anything that can help visually depict this is who i am visually communicate this is who i am this is what i stand for this is what i'm about right and with gemini rising there's something elfish about their, their face and that there's just this element of mischief about their face they tend to sort of have small features and something open and sort of like playful about their countenance they tend to sort of what i've noticed is yeah they talk a lot with their hands you tend to notice their hands, whether they talk with their hands, they just have like delicate fingers, they might wear rings. Gemini Risings are, are known to do that and they'll be asking a lot of questions. There's something about their features. I've noticed their chins typically are sort of defined, nose is pretty defined, eyes have this really like light, curious, open part and it's almost like even when you're talking to them it's almost like they're smirking a little bit like even if it's a serious matter there's still something a little playful about it there's still something that they're debating you on and gemini risings when i tell you they will debate you they will debate you down to the ground like you do not want to get into a debate with a gemini rising like they are quick they are logical they see the world through the lens of mercurial logic so they're able to see the holes in your argument and with the being able to see both sides to things they're able to really play with your viewpoint while simultaneously holding their own but again there's this energy around being the eternal student so they're not so egoically attached to their ideas they're, they're playful with them so if they do find that your viewpoint is better or more logical they'll take on parts they're not too rigid which is why we love them. You'll notice them particularly with their way with words, with their ability to get in conversation with someone and have them open up all of these details. And it's like, how did this even happen? You'll notice them by like fluttering from person to person at the party. Sometimes people can perceive you as someone who, you know, is shallow. I'm not calling it you that, I'm not calling you that, but sometimes people can perceive Gemini Risings as that because they don't understand the way that they are meant to navigate through life, which is taking in a little bit of information from each, from each person you know, diving deep into the subjects that are really, really capturing their attention, but also not forcing themselves to stay on one flower. It's not serving them. Life is too short for that. And Gemini Risings understand that life is here to learn. So why stick with anything that's not serving you any longer? And Gemini Risings, I cannot emphasize enough just how well-spoken they are. So people see Gemini Risings as individuals who are social, playful, curious, open, and funny, did I mention how comedic Gemini Risings are? Like seriously, they have the most witty, biting retorts out of like any of the signs. So Gemini Risings, I absolutely adore you for your wit, for your charm. Ah, oh, they talk about the charm. Gemini Risings flirt like they breathe. Like they're so dialed in conversations that they can just banter all day long. And it's not to say that they, you know, if they have a partner that they're the type who's like duplicitous or retreat or anything they just like that energy of bouncing off energy off different people like that's sort of what keeps a gemini going so if you have gemini rising partner i'm not saying that they're not loyal or anything of that nature they just do have a nature about themselves that is just so charismatic just so flirty people like to talk to them and a lot of times it's honestly harmless like i said the energy of mercury just tends to be very playful so people typically will read the gemini charm and curiosity as flirtiness but they're just very very charismatic talk to gemini rising without falling in love challenge <laughs> loves my instagram handle is at Haley common astrology my tiktok is the same i would love to connect with you over there and until we meet again drink lots of water and stay cosmic